Yo, we're here downtown St. Andrews. It's the morning show with Cruz and Julia with a guy, Bozzy. Bozzy. What's up, guys? How How's it we? going? Hola. It's good. It's good. Well, it's so good to have you back. We talked a couple months ago at Music Town, and watching your success has been like one of the coolest things. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I know that you've um, finally made it, and not because like we're playing mine on Amp Radio every hour, which we are, hey. or, or Beautiful with Camila. We just started playing, and everyone loves it. Hey. Um, but I, I know you it. made it because my mom knows who you are. Oh, that's amazing. That's important. <laughs> Bro, hey, for that real. mom cosign is everything. It really is. I was with my parents over the weekend. We went downtown, went to like the Detroit. We were walking around, and I was humming your song. She goes, oh, I like that song. Uh, and I'm like, you know Bozzy? She's like, yes. I'm like, yo. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> yep, so you know you made it. Come on, man. I love it. No, we got work to do, but the last few months have been amazing for sure. Well, what's the work like? Are you going to make more music after this? I mean, you just put out yeah. 17 tracks with Cosmic. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I've already, I've made like, 12 songs since Cosmic. I have my producer with me on the road and Dang. we just made a song today. Like we're constantly working on new stuff. Um, really? Yeah, all the time. So when you write music, do you write it according to like a themed body of work? Like kind of, I feel like Cosmic is like really cohesive. Like everything on yeah. it kind of like makes sense with like right. the outer space theme. Yeah. Do you do that with every album? Um, no, it, it, it's honestly, it's really interesting because... Um, you know the cohesiveness and the consistent you know the consistency of the project just naturally comes as long as i'm making like um you know i'm cohesive in my like writing and my melodic like that part just kind of happens naturally because I, I just tend to make the music that i want to hear and it's something right. it's really specific what i want to hear so um yeah it, it's not it doesn't take much effort to kind of create that I, there's there's certain things like my brain just knows i wouldn't do you know what mm -hmm. i mean yeah after seeing like the cover art for Cosmic and then I watched the video for mine, I was like, whoa, bro. No. Uh, I've been dying to ask you, and I think I know the answer. Serious question. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, 100%. Straight, that's what he said. I'm, I'm like, like, I know he does. I'm like, that's my yeah. dude. I know he does. I mean, the thing is, of, like, there's just no way that there isn't. Like, we live in our galaxy, which in our galaxy, we can't even go. There's many galaxies. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like. To assume that there isn't life or some form of existence somewhere else is just super ignorant. Just be like, yeah, we're the only ones who, you know. That's literally what we said this morning. We were sitting down in studio and he looks up and goes, do you believe in aliens? And I was like, I feel like it's ignorant not to. Yeah, like you have to. You really do. I don't know. Well, yeah. and I think sometimes like you talk about like like the music just coming to you and like things being cohesive. Like, I don't know if I believe in like energy, but like I think it like it comes from somewhere. I don't know if it's just this, as a human or a person or what. A hundred percent. I mean... I think if you think about frequencies, right? Like saying something, talking to someone, it's all sound and it's sonics and it's the same thing with music. So these ideas exist and the ideas are literally turned into something, you know, and from thin air. So it's like totally. that does come from somewhere where it's like, do we have the science to measure it or like know what it is yet? Like, no, we don't. But I mean, I know for a fact it's real in, in my life. I saw some interview with Russell Brand a long time ago and he was talking about how like, like dogs and cats can hear frequencies that we can't hear, you know, yeah. but it doesn't mean they don't exist just because we can't hear them. Yeah. So I do, there's gotta be like chi or like people's auras or like their energy, positive or negative energy. Like it has to exist. A hundred percent. It's just about how open you are to receiving it. You know what I mean? And once you are like, you know, you can start seeing some stuff that you just weren't paying attention to before. I feel really smart right now. Don't you? Yeah. This is, this is intense. <laughs> Tends to happen. <laughs> do you have to create like a vibe for yourself? Like before you perform or before you write, like do you, to get yourself in a mindset? Honestly, like not really. I'm usually just kind of like in that mode. Like I'll be like on my phone, just like hanging out with friends, like joking around literally the second until I jump on the stage. Oh. Yeah. Well, that keeps you happy though. Yeah, that I'm keeps just, you in a good mood. Exactly. And it's, it's nice because I don't ever have to like put anything on. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to be like, all right, studio time or stage time. It's like I'm already always ready in that mode. Does it so. hit you at like inconvenient times? Sometimes you're like, oh crap, like I had that, that melody in my head like on, in the car or whatever and you'd like write down No, it's actually it. easy because I always have the vo voice notes on my phone so I could just toss them out, record it, get it locked in. Smart, right, right, right. Yeah. So if you were to write like a book about your success that you've had so far, like and especially in the past probably 18 months, what is the part that nobody would believe? Um, I think it'd be definitely, you know, what life was like before for me, you know, the type of stuff I was doing before I figured myself out, you know, mm -hmm. it's like YouTube covers and stuff. And if you just see the quality of what I was creating and how much it's changed and knowing that, you know, no one stepped their foot in and like, you know, helped me do it but it really just came from me and it just came from my own personal self evolution um 
I think that that would really fascinate people for sure. Yeah, where did it? Where did you find that it really like turned over for you? That you like finally were like, yeah. okay, like this is really clicking yeah. now. Good question. Um, it was definitely when I had this big personal realization on my own. You know, um, it's funny. I watched a documentary called The Secret, and that was like the intro to like this whole world for me. Yeah, dude. Um, because I had always kind of had this ideology and this this thought process, and I'd never had anything to like confirm, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't have yeah. anyone to relate with or someone to share with. And then mm -hmm. I heard that and I was like, Oh my God, like that's, you know, that's the basis of pretty much how I think. And then I got much deeper into it and, you know, read a, a bunch of different books into it. Um, but I'd say that was a big moment for me because I just started becoming retrospect. I, I started focusing on myself and taking care of myself and doing things that made me happy. And that was definitely the start and, you know, process of everything changing for me. Is there, shot. is there, um, art other than like maybe like singing and writing that you like to get into more you know because i know i know because like yeah. just like just like i watched the video for mine and i know i brought it already brought it up but i watched it go like like you were like really into it like i could tell like you had a big yeah. hand and what it looked course, like and of course yeah um i mean so much stuff pretty much anything art related i want to get involved in. right that could be painting it could be acting anything that involves creating i think I had the conversation with my friend last night. It's like, what, like why are we here? You know what I mean? It's like, I, I hate to get that deep, but it's like, it's like, cool. Like you make all the money in the world and you set yourself up really well. And I mean, even just speak as a race, let's say we become the super high tech and everyone's live and no one has sickness. And it's yeah, yeah. still like, what are you there to do? It's like, you still have your time on this planet and you go. So I think the best part about being alive is creating because you make something bigger than yourself you know mm -hmm. you leave something that can never go away or disappear i would pay I mad money to hear you do a ted talk oh yes. it's gonna come but it's seriously coming. like because yeah. julia told me she goes yeah man like he 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 really like likes to kind of get the thoughts in his head out of the microphone and talk i'm like cool but like th you're onto something with that yeah, so you thank think you, about, that, about public thank speaking you. or something there's oh, something 100 percent. thank you so much definitely a hundred percent i would get involved in that what part of your art like right now that you're doing like feeds your soul the most like is most gratifying to you it's definitely just making the music right now like i had that conversation with with my producer kevin today is that i always have like a little bit of anxiety unless i'm creating music like even you know performing i'm i feel like when i'm making music i, I have the feeling like you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now you know it what like i'm calms saying you down. calms me down i have no i, I like I don't think about anything else when I'm doing it. I'm like, this is exactly where you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be behind this mic. You're supposed to be, you know, behind this computer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good feeling. We had to bring this up at some point. <laughs> Have you figured out what BDE is yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I was, I was quick, quickly awoken to, to the definition of BDE. Yeah. So, so what does it mean to you now that you know what it means? Like, what do you, you know? Like, how what? do you take that? Yeah, I take it. I mean... I was getting tweeted it a lot. And I was like, "What? What does that mean? Like, why do you guys keep saying that?" I was like, "Oh, I get it. I get it." I mean, I, on like a philosophical note, it's kind of a great thing. It is a great thing, and it's a real thing. I think people have it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's like an energy where it's like, "Oh, like you know, there's cer certain alpha." I guess. Like, I don't know. is it like 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 part like swag, part confidence, part definitely, self awareness? Definitely, I think it's a hundred percent all three of those. On the dome, like that's. I think all three yeah. of us have a bunch of BD. Yeah, we all got BD. All coach. three oh of us. Oh my god! Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I only hope to have as much as BDE as that's already on this couch. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of BDE on the couch. <laughs> there's yeah, tens of inches of BDE on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, That's so amazing. you got a jacket on right now. You don't have to show us, but I know you just got a new tattoo, yes, right? Yes, I did. What I did. does it right say? Because I saw it from like a, yeah. a distance in a picture and I, and I didn't yeah. catch what it was. Yeah, so it's three lines in Arabic, um, which is, you know, my native language. Mm -hmm. Three like life affirmations I just wrote, you know, stuff I kind of want to choose to live by. And then the other one is, uh, it's the current mission that NASA's on right now. It's mission 56. You guys know I'm obsessed oh, cool. with space. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, current mission that NASA's on, and uh, we actually got to visit NASA in Houston, and oh, yeah, they took us on, like, in, in the floor, apparently, like, me and Garth Brooks were, like, the only two people that ever got brought on the floor. Wow. So a yeah, a lot of BDE. a lot of on the floor <laughs> of NASA, yeah. Oh, my God, NASA um, has huge BDE. Huge Are you BDE kidding? For sure. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so, and it was cool. We got to be in the room where they're communicating with them, and, and yeah, I just, I'm a huge fan of NASA, huge fan of space, so. Did you do that and stop like when you were on tour? Yes, we stopped when I was playing in Houston. Yeah. What other cool stops have you made while you were on tour, like seen different places? 
Um, or was that a lot of good barbecue in Texas for sure? For real. Yeah. Um, damn, there's other cool stuff. I just can't think of anything right now. But we we definitely always you know kept our activities. Up. Is there uh, something you do? Because like like we've been stoked. We're like, oh yo, like dudes from around here. Like you know, we kind of like to yeah. kind of embrace our artists. You know, yeah. Eminem, Kid Rock, Bozzy, yeah. You know, all these yeah. cats. Um. Is there something you got to do every time you come home? Like one spot you got to hit or one friend you got to see? You know what? This trip has been like my favorite coming home. And I've only seen like one of my friends. Really? Yeah. But we just got like this like house like on a lake. And it's just like it reminded me like the beauty Michigan really has. is like summertime and it's Dude, like bonfires. Giving Tim Allen a yeah. run for his money. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm Bozzy for pure Michigan. <laughs> yeah, for pure Michigan. Oh, I'm going to just steal that. Don't oh worry. Oh my God, you should. I will. Give me a sec. Pure Michigan yeah. Oh, it's coming right now. Just wait uh, yeah, I mean, it's been good to be home. It's just, it just bases you, just humbles you, man. Just reminds you of everything. Just being in the city, I just remember being a kid, you know, the house I grew up in being 10 minutes away from me. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's very, very nostalgic and very humbling to be reminded, you know, because when you're constantly doing so much and this life is so fast paced, it's good to come home and, you know, feel a little bit of, you know, what your life was like before. I, th- I think it's cool. Like, I, like I'm excited to like watch you hustle hard because like you know Julie and I are both from here as well mm. Julie's from Roseville I grew up in Sterling Heights and it's cool just to like I always, always tell people like like people work really damn hard here and I don't think people that aren't from here don't that's get a, it yeah you know 100% they work the work ethic here is like no other and I think that's you know one of the biggest things I've picked up from you know living in Michigan is that it's like if if Michigan people can put their eye on something they definitely have like the work ethic to just hustle and make it there and yeah, yeah and there's just like, like amazing creative energy out of detroit like yeah. amazing 100%. Especially, especially right now yeah with like you know ford just bought the train depot and just all these artists coming in and like not just artists like you but like literal artists graffiti artists oh sick. there's so much cool stuff happening yeah right now. i love it i can't wait to go explore and get caught up on everything yeah yeah and i love seeing like before like mine truly got its push on radio and like you know really started playing the way it does how many people were really supporting you out of this city yeah like they were really pushing for us to play that yeah, song it's amazing and, like, what do your fans do you feel like do for your art like do they i don't know does it give you like that extra motivation to keep going or definitely i mean just seeing how it resonates with people and connects with people definitely makes me want to just keep going and, and keep making honest vulnerable music for people and is there yeah. a, is there one story that stands out from a fan like maybe a tweet or a sign at a show or is it just happening um, so much it's just one big vibe yeah it's just one big vibe they're just all so amazing and collectively just you know so supportive and know me so well and it's all been pretty amazing well that's amazing and we're excited to see you tonight i actually we're gonna catch the thursday night show in chicago hey, too oh amazing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be, cool. be out there we'll be in the back with the bde sign going <laughs> yeah 100 <laughs> percent. Uh, i'll feel it you have to have the silence but i'll feel some BDE it's an energy there. yeah it is all right, all right we'll let you do your show it's 98 7 amp radio buys you like we appreciate you and we love you amazing so love you guys tonight, as well right? Kill thank it. you appreciate Peace. it